हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत्रीकाल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विथ यू वॉश अफ एट वारेवा डॉट काम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू ऑसम इंडियन रेड करी एंड आई एम गोइंग टू मेक इट विथ लैम्प सो डियर फ्रेंड्स लेट्स लर्न इंडियन रेड करी विथ लैम्प फॉर दिस आई हैव गॉट सम ग्रीन कार्डमम मेस बड़ी इलायची दैट इज ब्लैक कार्डमम सिनेमन दिस इज लॉर्ड ऑफ ग्रीन कार्डमम इन दिस फर्स्ट वी गोइंग टू फुट इन द डिंग चिक and uh, crush it in lamp preparations we rarely add ghee but for this preparation we need to add some nice clarified butter that is ghee <laughs> in this ghee we going to add thinly sliced onion and cook them till they are nicely brown in color and to speed up the process of browning add some salt and we going to cook till these onions are nicely golden brown Now you can see that these onions are uh, almost getting brown. See the reason why we want to cook them till they are nicely brown is when they are brown when you cook for little time they will just get dissolved and you won't see any onions. Now they are almost done. In this we are going to add this crushed whole garam masala. If I didn't crush this whole garam masala I would have added in the ghee even before I added onions. Since I crushed I didn't want them to get burnt or anything. Here The onions are all done. Now add ginger garlic paste in this. Now we are going to cook a little bit. In this, add turmeric. Now we are going to add the lamb pieces, and then cook along with this brown onion. Now you can see that I have more of this lamb shanks because you know that is what will give lot of uh, flavor in this dish. So if you want to add some chops or any of the bones of uh, meat in this go ahead and add that will give a nice uh, flavor to your curry you know without adding any moisture you can see this lamb i you know drained out all the water so it is slightly dry and uh, cook it till this lamb also gets slightly brown then we going to add some yogurt and cook this lamb now you can see some of these pieces are slightly brown now this is when we going to add some coriander powder add uh, chopped mint chop coriander leaves half of it and red chili paste i soaked the red chilies in the water for 30 minutes after which i made a paste out of it so add uh, this is kind of chilies which will give nice red color to your preparation in this add beaten yogurt don't add any water this should be good and then mix it oh ha oh, oh. very nice uh, red color once you cook this the color becomes even more prominent wow now this is good put the lid on and let it cook till the meat is tender this may take up to 30 to 40 minutes depending on the kind of lamb you got i think i'll need to add um, some more salt in this i think that should be good wow look at the color this is a nice red chili paste which gives uh, wow on this just add uh, some more red chili and uh, cover it and cook it for another few more minutes you know this has taken more than 40 minutes for me to cook uh, close to an hour now the meat is all nice and tender and cooking uh, in this oil also gave a very nice color even my red chilies here super make this awesome red curry lamb but make sure that the curd is not too sour and some people add tomatoes but uh, you know for this curry i don't prefer to add tomatoes but if you want to add you can add some hmm you know perfect but even though this lamb curry is super red in color it is still not hot enough for me i want to go ahead and use some guntur chili powder to make it hot but dear friends you want to have it mild use kashmiri chili powder and you will get the awesome color but do not forget vareva is all about inspiring others to cook so please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking thank you ah ah ah